Welcome to another session of the PMV webinar series. Before our speaker starts, I've got just a few housekeeping details that I would like to share with our listeners. All listeners have a muted line. If you have a question to our speaker about his presentation or any issues with how you're viewing the presentation, please go to the question and answer section of the webinar control panel at the right side of your screen. All questions will be held until the end of the presentation and addressed by the speaker during the Q&A session at the end. I would like to now welcome you once more to the Product Management View webinar series. I'm Chelsea Woodhead from Rima Technology Solutions, one of the sponsors of this webinar series, and I'll be your moderator. It is my pleasure to introduce Pete Hodgkins, who will be giving the presentation during today's webinar. Pete is a road mapping practice manager at Entheosis, an agile product management consulting firm where he helps software companies define and implement faster development processes and more strategic product roadmaps. He has more than 15 years of technology product leadership. Before joining Entheosis, Peter was a senior manager at VeriSign, where he led that company's worldwide engineering project management initiative, pioneered techniques for coordinating agile software development across time zones, and used agile methodologies to reduce development time by 30%. Previously, he was the chief technology officer for Access International in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and started his career in the UK with Sporting Index Holdings PLC and BP Amaco. Peter earned a master's degree in information technology and a degree in electrical and electronic engineering. With no further ado, I will give presenter status over to Peter. Take it away, Peter. Thank you very much, Chelsea. Oh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we uh, we'll get started in just one moment. Let me, uh, well, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, thank you, Chelsea, for uh, the introduction, and thank you, everyone, for coming. Um, my name is Pete Hodgkins. I'm the Road Mapping Practice Manager with Entheosis. And this afternoon, we are going to talk a little bit about Agile and how good is good. Uh, we'll come on to explain what that's all about shortly. Um, a little bit of an agenda uh, that people can be focused and understand where we're going uh, today. One of the things I want to look at is I just want to set some goals so that people are where they need to be and can be focusing on takeaways. Uh, then we're going to take a look at um, Agile as it grows up, um, looking at what Agile is now and where you know, Agile is moving and how it's growing up and how, as it does so, we have to adapt to meet the needs of business through Agile. Uh, after that, we're going to take a look at um, Agile and product documentation, one of the major features of today's conversation. And then after that, we're going to take a look at Agile and perfect code and what that means to Agile and whether it is a tenant that needs to be adhered to permanently. A little bit about me, um, for those of you who are watching the presentation, that is the ugly shot of me, and I'm sorry for scaring everybody there. Um, I'm a consultant uh, with a company called Entheosis. Uh, I have over 18 years uh, experience in the technology industry, 15 of those leading programs, and uh, four of them actually leading programs that involve uh, heavy-duty agile uh, implementations. So that's Pete Hodgkins in a nutshell. Um, one of the points out of today's uh, webinar is that these are observations that are actually based on real-life experiences in real companies that I've worked in uh, and have been developed over my observations over several years uh, and have actually have proven success using the outlines that I'm looking at today with you uh, all on the phone and on the presentation. So let's recap what the goals of the webinar are uh, before we really get to into the, the meat. Um, we want to recap agile ideals for minimal product definition and high quality. Uh, what do I mean by that? We're going to take a look at what agile has from a tenant point of view and what it espouses around product definition and product qualities. We want to consider this inside of scaled up agile projects and programs. Agile is obviously, when it was born, was designed around small teams, small projects. Uh, but as it grows up, obviously, that changes, and we want to take a look at that today. Um, and we also want to propose approaches for matching product documentation um, and the quality of code goals against business objectives, i.e., rather than looking at it from a pure Agile point of view, let's look at it from a business point of view and see where Agile fits.